Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vey and it's good to have you here. The other day I posted a review for this microphone boom arm. This is the Tonal T90. But actually my daily driver is the Elgato Wave Arm. And I've been using it for over a year now. So today I'm going to be putting these two in a head to head just in case they're both on your shortlist. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy the video. This is the Elgato Wave Arm. It's on the higher range of the price spectrum and regarded as one of the best products in this category. As mentioned, I've been using it for over a year, so have quite a bit of experience with it. I'm going to be doing this comparison in seven rounds, awarding at least one point per round. Let's talk about the clamp system first. The Elgato one is quite unique and I've not seen any other clamp system on the market that looks like this, so it's probably fully bespoke. I like how elegant it is and aesthetically speaking, it's more attractive than the pyramid block that comes with the T90. Elgato decided to go with padding on both lips, the bottom and the top, where the T90 has padding on the top lip. But I wish the T90 had padding on a bottom lip instead, because this little disc thing looks like it has the potential to damage wooden desks. That's just speculation on my part though. My desk is a slab of metal, so in my case, it should be safe from damage. I think the T90 would be easier to screw in if you're up against a wall because pushing the handle back and forth is simpler. So you might twist and then push it, twist some more. The handle on the Elgato is also adjustable, but it's a lot more fiddly to accomplish. Let's say you're in a tight space, you want to twist to tighten or loosen, and then you hit a wall. You have to push this button in so that it stops twisting the mechanism, and then you move it into the position you need, and then you can keep going. And then you'll be doing this kind of action. Twisting, adjusting, twisting, adjusting. When it's all installed, swiveling the arm around on the Elgato is much, much smoother. It feels like the materials on a T90 are grinding together. And that makes me worried about the longevity of it. If you intend to swivel and adjust your boom arm often, the Elgato accommodates that well. I give this round to the Elgato wave arm. Looks so subjective and I know this to be true because even with a face like mine, I've been able to speak to some women throughout my life without being served an immediate slap. When it comes to hardware, I'm quite boring and I like it to be minimal and clean, which is why I chose the Elgato in the first place. I like the clean shapes and the choice to hide most of the guts and inner workings of the boom arm. The Tona T90 mostly follows the design philosophy too with the outer plates hiding the skeleton. But to differentiate it from the pack, it goes full 100 on a paint job and branding, and of course, the lights. So do you want a quiet boom arm or a loud one? I thought this round would be easy until I turned on the T90's RGB, and it's an equalizer. I have to say this comes down to preference. If you like things subtle, the Elgato wins. If you like things loud, the T90 is a good choice. A point for both arms in this round. Both these boom arms are made of steel and plastic, but the materials on the T90 are low density. Yes, some parts are steel, but they feel quite thin. The most robust component seems to be the handle on the clamp. There are plastic components on the Elgato as well, but in general, it feels like these plastic bits aren't going to dent, bend or scratch easily. They're made to last and every piece of the Elgato wave seems like it was specifically designed and produced for this product. Another point for the Elgato on this round. The K90 
Cable management on the Elgato is surprisingly basic. It's a rubber strip that slides in and out and it can sometimes be either too tight or too loose. You can see here that it's hanging off a little. And when you want to take it on and off, you have to start on either end and patiently slide it all the way. It's much easier on a T90. All I have to do is unclip the bottom and it pops off. Getting it back on is a cinch too. It also has a bit more space in the tunnel, but this is less important for the T90 unless you plan on switching out your microphones. Still, the ease of use and generous space means I'm giving a point to the Tonar T90. The T90 is just a monitor arm. You might be thinking, well, they, of course it's a monitor arm. What else can it be? Let me introduce you to the Wave Arms bore head. This thing is pretty much infinitely adjustable. So no matter which direction the arm is coming from, you can have the mic pointed where you want. It also comes with a quarter inch thread, and that means you can use it as a camera arm, again, with infinite adjustability. So it's like you're getting two products in one if you're a content creator. It also comes with a weight to accommodate lighter microphones, screw converters, and a 15 centimeter riser if you need more height. There's no danger of incompatibility with the Elgato Wave Arm. It's going to work with pretty much anything. So this point, of course, goes to the Elgato. Currently on Amazon, the Elgato is $89.99 and the Toner T90 is $59.99. If the added bonuses and functionality of the Elgato have no meaning to you and you just want a monitor arm, this point should go to the T90. Although I will say that for $89.99, the Elgato Wave still feels like good value. With the final scores at 4 3, the Elgato comes up top as the winner. So there you have it, the Elgato Wave Arm comes out on top for me. It's so hard to beat the quality and versatility that you get out of this boom arm. But if you like your accessories to really, really stand out, then the Tonar T90 isn't a bad choice. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next one.